at at Babam. Babam. Is it Babam? I think so. Here we are with uh, Chewy from Voivod and of course the director of the movie. Billy Bibla Guitar. Bil Bil <laughs> <laughs> Say that five times. Say that five times. So guys, this is exciting. I'm going to ask Chewy right off the bat. Chewy, how does it feel to be part of this movie coming in 10 years ago? Yeah, I, I, ca I came in 17 years ago. Actually. Okay, correction, 17 years <laughs> already. I'm still a new guy, pardon me, but uh, no, it's very exciting uh, just to uh, to know that there, there's a movie made about Voivod, you know, regardless of if I'm in the band or not, it, it, was, it was due for sure. I mean, it has to to be done and we had the chance to meet Felipe he's a passionate person and he takes his work very seriously and he moves mountains to make it happen so to be part of it is just a bonus but it's just too important of a band through the years during the 40 plus year career a very influ influential show band sorry uh, so it's it was just like natural to have something uh, this deep and this uh, important and uh, very generous. Every guest was very generous in, in the process, and uh, Felipe made it happen. And he worked. Like, Here's that. Yeah, I'm gonna get to Felipe in one sec, but I wanna, I wanna. Maybe this is a little bit of a spoiler. You actually appear in the movie, but before you join the band. Oh, is that is that so? I believe so, right? Yes. So we'll just kind of leave it at that. Felipe, yeah. Felipe, I know you've been doing this for so many years. You've been working on this 10 years? Uh, yeah, about it is, yes. If you count when I had when I started reaching out to the band, it's probably closer to like maybe eight years, nine years, simply because it takes, you first have to get through to them and then convince them, hey, I want to make a movie about you. You know what I mean? Uh, so that took a little while, and then it's just... Uh, it's a long story. It's a long story. It's not something that you can think and be like, yeah, that's uh, here. It's written. It's done. One, two, three, four. Everybody's happy. To, you know? Is it surreal to see your your finished product up on the screen? Oh, man. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, how could it not? This, I, this screen is bigger than my house. <laughs> All right, let's go around here, Baron. Let's walk around. And maybe we'll try to find a way. I guess most of these drawings... And uh, I guess illustrations are mostly your creations over the years, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you want to explain what's on the wall here. Yeah, I mean, on the wall we have like uh, 17 stuff I did at my parents' place as a teenager. Uh, there are stuff I did on the road uh, during the, um, the Ozfest uh, tour with Jason Listed in 2003. Sketches for uh, the uh, album covers, uh, rare, uh, killing technology. I should have brought the, uh, the painting of war. It's, uh, it's made on a cardboard, which was a very bad idea, but I had no money. Uh, and there uh, are a few digital things I did over the years. Uh, yeah, I said that, that's about it. And so it, yeah, it's all my art, uh, a bunch of prints, and uh, they're, going, they're going really fast, of course. Uh, what is, oh yeah, the good old logo. Uh, P uh, Piggy's guitar from okay, the other. Okay, Piggy's guitar here. With this, this was a custom, right? This was a custom. It's a, it's a company called Born to Rock. And uh, Jason bought three guitars and two bass. And uh, uh, Jason gave me back the guitar in 2019 in San Francisco, right before the pandemic. I'm really happy to have it. It was stored in the studio for years. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a great memory to uh, to Piggy. Well, good gr congratulations. Thank you. And uh, now that the the movie's made, do they have any future plans? Are they going to are you going to be releasing it in other theaters? Are you going to be uh, streaming it online? Is it going to be a DVD? What what are the uh, uh, we're we're um, uh, planning on uh, having it shown at uh, festivals, uh, metal festivals, film festivals, but also hopefully um, on a Blu-ray or a physical release as well. We can. Yeah. Thank you very much, Wayne. Congratulations on everything you're doing. Uh, thanks for your help as well. <laughs> So 
side of Babab. I'm uh, hoping you pronounce that right. It's Bab, Babab? Yeah, Babab. Yeah. Babab. I'm here with Rocky, the bassist of uh, Voivod, as well as James McLean, the manager of Voivod. We got another car. Yeah, yeah. Well, keep filming, Sorry. keep filming, keep filming. We're going to have an edit job to do. And James, yeah. James, tell us about you know your baby, Voivod, you know, 30 years, you've been managing the band. Yeah. Ups and downs. And how does it? How does it make you feel that this is finally coming to its conclusion? I will say this. I don't think this is the conclusion. This is just a chap that we're yeah. trying to capture the legacy of the band up to the first forty years. But if these guys go another ten years, does this movie really just become part one and two? Is there another three and I four? See a, I said mini series. Mini series. So the, uh, my segue into uh, future uh, documentaries, perhaps. But we've been through this uh, through certain phases, you know. After uh, Piggy died, was was at the end uh, when Jason joined, and that record came out, and for, uh, and then when Jason started performing with the group, and we had other issues going on, was that the end? So I think with Boyvat, it's a story of perseverance. And we just we just keep going and going, and these guys keep creating these wonderful albums. And they tour like they're still 30, not 20, but 30. They, they have their pitch comforts now. But the long and short of it is that this film has been in the works for about, I would say, 15 years. And Philippe is about the fourth director to attempt to sort of rein in the story to tell the, the history of Voivod as it stands now that we know and alluding to the fact that there is a future still. This isn't like the band broke up and we're telling that there is a start and end date. So we're still in, I feel, very much in the middle of a very uh, creative, wonderful act that are just so beloved by so many people. And it's so hard for anybody to sort of tell the story in even two hours. And he's going to only block in closer to three. So it's been a battle to get to edit down, to get it palatable for people that even uh, don't even know about that. I want people to walk away and go, that was a good story. These guys never gave up. These guys just did what they had to do and they, for the love of it, and they didn't really care about ever, you know, there was no design to get rich and famous. What if they become the next Slayer or Metallica? It was like, we want are very much Quebecois boys, men now, that are different, I think. They're not like West Coast trash bands that like, you know, party and like, you know, they are never been that. They're, to me, gentlemen that are all about just, you know, doing what they do regardless of like everything is being thrown at them, being saying you should do this to become more famous. Weebot is always just, they've got to the point which is most acts aspire to, which is they are now just Weebot. Like, what does that mean? Well, go back, it means like legendary band, but for most people, you don't have to say, oh, well, they're a thrash band or a metal band. No, they've reached the status where they're Weebot. They've created their own lane in that heavy rock metal uh, genre, uh, for lack of a better description. And that's what I love about the band, too. They are kind of a band you can't put in one sort of compartment. Because just when you think you know the boy about it, they go out and do something like, wow, they're going to play with Montreal Symphony Orchestra. What's that all about? Oh, oh we forgot to mention that. Maybe I'll get uh, Rocky. Yeah, Tell yeah, us about yeah. the Montreal Symphony Great, yeah. great summary. Almost over. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us about the uh, Montreal Symphony Orchestra. This is yes, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a mummer. Well, all the words for that. It's music and I tell. Got, I gotta say, you are the perfect contribute. You, you are the perfect member or the new guy to to be you know, in in the band. Um, you fit in perfectly. Uh, great bass sound. You, you you click with the band perfectly. I'm really proud. It's the team that works with so many music. Everyone. Big family that you can feel the love and I, I, I understand 100 guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, and, and congratulate Felipe. He's done a and, wonderful job. Yes, yeah. yes. And I wish you all the best and all the success with this documentary. And good luck. Thank you, Jimmy. And by the way, you don't have to zoom. Don't zoom. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> I, I zoom. I, I zoom it after. <laughs> No, no, it's all good. Leave it like that then. It's good. All right, here we are at the gallery at Babam. Yes. Right before the premiere, there's going to be a red carpet of the. Do When's the last time you saw the documentary? 
uh, a few months ago when we were, uh, you know, we had like we had to do some edits, uh, basically saying what we have to say about certain things. Uh, maybe cut this, put the emphasis there. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so it's been a few months. And I never saw the whole, the complete thing. So I'm excited. Uh, I think you know it's uh, described the, the entire career basically, uh, the up and downs and uh, the situation, weird situations sometimes, and and um, the, you know the being doing a band. You know it's it's always been. Um, I mean for us it's always been like some sort of a roller coaster kind of, uh, and uh, there's there's fun parts, the sad parts. And, but uh, it's a fun journey overall. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite something. Uh, I think 40 years in the business. I think yeah. it's unique because you're a band from Quebec, Canada, but not just from Montreal, from, yeah. from real north, and to actually make it as a band from so remote yeah, yeah, yeah. and so far away, it's, 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 it's an incredible journey. Yeah, it was a... It was a but I think, you know, the fact that we were kind of isolated over there gave us maybe something different than the other bands. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but, it, you know, it's it like... Made you more unique. Exactly. I think, uh, but because when we were young, uh, we didn't have really access for the new stuff, you know. We had to heat hiking in to Quebec City, Montreal, whatever, <laughs> to get, uh, finally I got the first maiden. You know, or whatever. Uh, it was uh, it was hard to get because we were recluded far away in the north. And uh, um, and but the process of you know, it, it gave us I think because we we're so isolated, we we're like we had no distraction, yeah. and so we were rehearsing every day, every night, and that's why we built up the the band quite fast. And we're putting on all the emphasis to be better, uh, you know, day by day. And then to a point where, okay, well, we have deal, you know, we met uh, Wayne Archibald, who's a <laughs> corresponding gap. So that's how it started, you know. He was uh, trading cassette demos, and we finally had a deal, you know, with, uh, with uh, Metal Blade Record. And so... That's how it started. I, mean, I remember being in a pickup truck with the boys yeah. in the back, <laughs> going to our first recording session in, in the small place. When I recall stuff like that, you know, it, it's been a long, long way, but well, here we are here. Uh, you know what? Everybody should go check out the movie. Yeah. I know it's in Montreal, but I'm assuming you're going to have, it's going to be available on streaming eventually yeah. in other places. So I've seen it. I haven't seen the final cut, but I'm very excited for you. I'm very excited for Voivod, and I'm proud that you guys are from Montreal, Quebec, Canada as a whole, right? Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's, that's super important. All right, so. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs>